Good morning. I have spent the morning doing my editing. Yay! Uh, I have just put up yesterday's a day late. Whoopsie. And day seven is loading. Woohoo! That took a couple of hours. Now I think I might have my lunch sandwich and then we should do some Christmas cards. <laughs> this is quite a nice setup. Oh! Running out of battery. Gotta go charge. I have brought up my hexagons and I just made a quick sandwich. Yes. For lunch before we do some Christmas cards. And later today we are, well, I'm going to make a Mary Berry recipe for a um, sausage casserole, but I bought vegan sausages so let's see if jason notices um oh gosh you can see we aren't those we're not the terrible toilet roll hoarders um we we just get through a really a lot of toilet roll i i don't know why we just we overuse toilet rolls so we always have a good amount we didn't start buying extra because of lockdown we just we need a lot of toilet roll Anyway, ignore that. Pretty sandwich. <laughs> and a side. And a little craft. I won't do very much. I'm just waiting for that podcast episode, that uh, vlog episode, to load up to YouTube and then we can get started. I remembered that I had this beautiful Victorian writing box, which um, is a very bizarre thing to have, but I asked for it when I was 15 and my dad bought it for me. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's just a really, really sweet little sloped wooden box. And um, it has this really special, um, velvet top it's not my style at all anymore but I still love it I still absolutely love it and I used to um where is it I used to use you know the dip ink and pen and write quotes from books and poems and films and tv and Anywhere, anywhere I had a quote, I'd write them. And I found this book again. So cute. And it begins, if you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. That was very dramatic at 15 <laughs> by Shel Silverstein. Don't know who he was. I don't know where I got that from. But it's just full of all these like inspirational. Oh, from when I read The Hobbit. It's a dangerous business going out of your door. You step onto the road, 
and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> J.R.R. J. R. R. Tolkien. So anyway, isn't it nice when you find old things that you loved? <laughs> so I just need to calculate how many cards to do, and I think I want to send the bigger cards because I can write a, a bigger message. Some of them are a bit, I think they're a bit too small. So that means I've just got the two house style cards. By the way, those paintbrushes are not on fire. There is a very small candle just behind. Purely for dramatic purposes, you understand, of making that small little video. Oh, lovely. That's a clipper tea. I think it's called Snore, Snore and Peace. But uh, I, I like to call it Snore in Peace. <laughs> Leave me to snore in peace. Mm. So this fit me. This is just the top and I've got my pyjama bottoms on on the bottom half. <laughs> oh, and you can see my ring light. Look at that over there. I, took, I, I tried to take a selfie with it when it first came and it was so bright, I pressed the selfie button, turned it on and recoiled in horror. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that picture in because I think I've still got that picture on my phone. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Also, my friend has noticed, notified me of how much a stamp costs. When I was younger, we used to go to the post office and there was a box, like a metal box, mechanical, not electric. And you put your 20p in and pulled the thing out and then the stamp would come out. 20p. No, no not that cheap anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we've got five of those. But six envelopes. Oh, seven. I think I used an envelope for something else. But you see, these little ones, they're just too small. If you compare. I've got some acrylic paints, I've got the paint brushes, I've got a wheel of Elizabeth Shaw. If we're, if we're talking fancy snacks, a ring of golden coins filled with dark chocolate, they're mint, and then I think the little gold inside are honeycomb. They are lovely. They're actually they were only ornamental for the shop, but it would be rude to put them back once you've taken them out of the out of the packet, really, don't you think? So maybe I'll put you overhead and you can just see some see some painting. I'm just gonna do the envelopes and then I will write my Christmas cards on this. And let me let me just clear this up because I want to show you something inside. So I think, I think these writing desks were designed to be travel boxes because if you were going to write letters or anything, you'd write at your writing desk. Why would you need a box? So, okay, that makes sense. And you've got these compartments where you can pop things. And I've got the wax melts. This one's got a sun on it. And um, I've got a Slytherin one as well, because my family are all Slytherins, without a doubt, the devious bunch of them. And I've got quite a few different pens, including how can I not write my Christmas cards with a quill? <laughs> if we're going to go extra, you're going to go big or go home with that one. And it's Slytherin green, which is quite good. There's my little key. Can't use that one. Little inks and things. Is it too dramatic to write your Christmas cards in bright red ink? 
it does look a little bit scary but i think it looks scary in like a good way just a christmas card from your friendly neighborhood psycho killer yeah and there's some more little pens in there as well so i think let's just go quill let's go quill there's even quite a sensible just a parker fountain pen but the cartridge is empty and i'm not going all the way out to buy a cartridge when i've got all these bottles of ink to use i'm sure i wrote a message Sonnet, Shakespeare's sonnets. I was such a funny person. Trip down memory lane. Let's do some painting. This is gonna be fun. time and I'm going to try and make the Mary Berry Mary Berry uh, sausage and red pepper hot pot I love food that comes in a pot one pot food in it okay so you can probably see my pajama <laughs> business on the top Relax on the bottom. <laughs> so, usually I would buy the cauldron. Um, I think they're vegan sausages. They are certainly vegetarian. But I got these this time because that is all they had. So let's see. Fingers crossed. I'm going to fry these off with some onion to start with. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, look good. Onions and sausages. To add all the other ingredients and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that so far. Vegan sausages this time. They're looking good. These are my other ingredients. So I got some um, new potatoes, a couple of handfuls, one carrot, one red pepper, two cloves of garlic. I'm going to put some mixed herbs sun dried tomato paste, um, some veggie stock, chopped tomatoes, and a tiny squidge of the tomato puree. I think I just have to put a tiny bit of water as well for this one. It's looking promising. Ooh. Apparently that now goes in the oven for half an hour and uh, it should be ready. Let's see. I don't know. Looks good. Looks good. Okay. Dinner is served. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'd have to ask JC. I never ask him, did you like it? I ask him, 
Would you eat it again? And that way, he's forced to tell me the truth. Ah. Anyway, looking good.